Welcome back and welcome to Kate's Corner. This Monday, a thunderstorm tore through portions of southern Harrison and Lewis County, leaving behind intense damage that caused many to believe a tornado was the cause. The National Weather Service in Charleston sent a storm survey team out on Tuesday and determined that it was not a tornado, but a microburst. Just what is a microburst? Well, we'll answer that in this edition of Kate's Corner. A microburst can produce winds over 100 miles per hour and cause damage equivalent to an EF1 tornado. This weather phenomenon is a sudden downburst of intense localized air from the base of a storm. The air rushes out to the ground and once it contacts the ground, it spreads out in all directions. There are two types of microburst, wet and dry. A wet microburst with heavy, is with heavy precipitation and a dry microburst occurs in, you guessed it, dry air with no rain. The storm survey team determined it was a microburst and not a tornado because of how the trees were damaged. A tornado leaves behind a marked swirl in the debris and a microburst produces damage in a starburst pattern with straight line winds. The microburst in southern Harrison and Lewis County was estimated to have wind speeds of 90 to 100 miles per hour. Trees were uprooted and snapped along its path and a roof was removed from a home and a barn wall collapsed. That's going to do it for this edition of Kate's Corner. Don't go anywhere, though, because 5 News at 530 starts next.